the show that I'm about to do at uh, QPAC, I call Once Were Leaders. It's basically an excuse for me to get out some of my favourite bits from the archive, some of my favourite monologues, people like Malcolm Fraser, Bob Hawke, John Howard, Bob Menzies, for those who are old enough to remember, um, Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, neither of whom were Prime Ministers of Australia, the Queen of England, oh well, there is one other, keep him as a surprise, as a performer, uh, I'd have to put Bob Hawke at the top of the list because he gives the actors so much to play with, so much verbally, so much uh, emotionally, his, he wears his heart on his sleeve and he gives you more hair than any other Prime Minister has given you in one go. I've been doing it for longer than the Liberal Party has existed. I was taking a satirical attitude to it when I was five. Uh, I maintained the rage. I had a mate in uh, junior secondary school uh, and we impersonated one of the teachers who used to get on our wicks, a particularly nasty bit of work, and we performed this creature behind the lavatories in the playground at lunchtime. My mate had a more entrepreneurial sense than I did. He named the little platform that we used the Dunnyview Auditorium. And that's where I started doing uh, satirising authority. We had a teacher, music teacher, who encouraged kids to come out and do little solos in the class, instruments, sing or whatever. And she had a naughty streak and she invited my mate and I to come up and perform this teacher that we'd been doing spontaneously down at the Dunnyview Auditorium. It was a huge success, so much so that there was a demand that the next week we come back and do another teacher. This we'd never, never thought about. This, this required some very fast research, observation. So we did another teacher, and the same thing happened in the next. We went through the entire staff, one by one, week after week, and I realised that that's the first exercise in what I later was able to uh, turn into what I laughingly call a career.